So today I wanted to try something a little bit different. I've been working on this case for a multi-wee board. This is the multi-wee X-Rock. But from what I understand, it's very similar in profile to the uh, multi-wee flip. And as I've been working on these designs, such as the one for the Minimo SD, I've received some great feedback from you guys and suggestions on things I can do to improve the design. For example, a few of you recommended just putting some little tabs, as you can see these guys here, so that when you do put your lid on, it doesn't slide anywhere, so that kind of holds it in place. With this design, you see I have the pins exposed, forward arrow for uh, the front of the board, and then the USB connector on the side. And I made sure I have good clearance for the connectors, the USB plug, and so what I really wanted to do is get your feedback because every time I do a design, there's some obvious suggestion that you guys make uh, that has helped me improve the overall design. So a couple things I'm uncertain about at the moment is, you know, how do we want this thing to clamp down? If you saw my minimum OSD case, I had a, an external clasp version and then one that had an internal clasp. And also, normally when I mount my flight controller, I'll use something like uh, Moon Gel or Zeal to basically stick and hold that into play. And I rarely use these holes to mount anything, but I'd like to hear from you guys your suggestions and what you think is best for mounting both the lid and the entire case on your quad. And if you have any other suggestions, I'd love to hear them. And what I am proposing is that be sure to read through the comments before you post if there's a suggestion that's been proposed already, just go ahead and vote that up. And let's just see how that voting process looks over the next few days, and then we can take the most upvoted suggestions and I'll try to incorporate that into the design. So it'll be interesting to go through this kind of collaborative design process. And when it's all said and done, I'll go ahead and post the files on Thingiverse that you guys can download and print yourselves or print through makexyz.com. I look forward to hearing your feedback, and until next time, thank you for watching.